So today, what I'm going to be trying to do is the floor pans are very, very rusty. By very rusty, I mean there's not a lot of them left. So, I got some metal. I'm going to try to cut out some pieces of metal, rivet them in, so it'll be a little bit more sturdy. It's not a huge deal to me, but I would like it to be, if, some, if somebody steps on it, I don't want them to fall through. So this is the metal I have. I've got to cut it open, see how big it is. Um, it was under my dad's house, he didn't want it anymore. So it's a little thinner than I would like, but I'm gonna make it work. That could have gone better. This is what I got to work with. I got an angle grinder, and I'm going to measure it, try to cut it out, drill through it, and hopefully rivet it in there and have it good so I can bedline it. Always be safe. I'm not a mechanic. Also, I'm not safe. I don't have safety glasses, and I'm not wearing long sleeve um, or long pants. But when you do this, be safe. Also, don't. You should probably take the um, plastic film off on top, the tape off on bottom, and not cut it on a plastic folding table. Alright, so this is how it fits. Um, I wanted it to extend up into that curve a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to rivet it down. So I think it'll look pretty good. Um, it comes up right against the edge right there. And I know, don't tell me, it's not perfect. It's not what you're supposed to do. But I'm keeping in line with the cheapest cheap in America. This was free and it's what I'm going to do. All right, y'all. So it's not a delay for y'all, but it's been a delay for me. It's been about a week since I've worked on the Jeep. Um, so sorry about that. But I'm continuing on part two. So... That's the floor pans and um, some metal cutting, getting it ready to be bedlined. So I'm cutting, um, there's a, where the heater core used to go, there's about a 10 by 10 um, opening because I took the heater core out because there's no point in having it because it's open, the top's open. I'm going to go ahead, get the angle grinder out, cut a little 10 by 10 slot, screw it on, rivet it on, and then we'll be good. <laughs> Now, I'm just using um, some self-tapping screws for this because I didn't want to rivet it. Alright guys, so that'll do it for part two of the Jeep build. I got the... Alright guys. Alright guys, so that'll do it for part two of the Jeep build. I got the heater core hole blocked off. I did the floor pans, riveted those in. I think some pretty good progress was made. Now I gotta take out the roll bar, clean out the bed pan so I can bedline it. After that, I'm gonna finish the rewire, do brakes, um, a couple more things, and I'm pretty much done. Um, ultimately, I wanna do the um, get new suspension on it, and maybe even do a four wheel drive swap if the time and money presents itself. So, as always, if you like the video, please consider subscribing and thanks for watching.